Hi, beautiful souls. It's another glorious day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful day. Out here in the lovely hedgerows with my little Lanto Lightfoot coming up to my dear tree, my tree friend, one of my favorite tree friends, my little beloved walnut tree. Good morning, my little tree. How are you? Yes. You are a beautiful tree. I love you. This little tree has a grid at the base of it, a grid that I put there with a lot of beach carnelians, one of my favourite stones and also rich on this beach here. So it, uh, it really is a, a glorious grounding, tr grounding uh, grid for the tree and also for all that is. When we first begin our journeys, something, something either happens to us, something that forces us to take note of our lives, or maybe we gracefully and easily expand as time, linear time moves on and we get interested or we read a book or somebody else influence us, influences us and we're like, oh wow, really interested in what they have to say. Everyone has their own ways and their different paths and how they come to wish to expand, wish to, to grow. And during that time, what happens is that we often look outside of ourselves for so much of that time. We get this book, we get that book, we do, do this course, we do that course. We go and see this spiritual speaker speak. We may follow this guru or that guru. And that's all lovely. It's all part of the learning, part of the path to experience and to enjoy the teachings of others bearing in mind that a lot of them are channels or they're bringing forth wisdom from their inner selves. Some of that wisdom will be distorted. Some of it will be truth for us. Some of it will not. And that doesn't matter. What matters is, is about enjoying it. It's enjoying it. If you enjoy going to somebody's um, event, go because it's joyful for you. Don't go because you feel you have to because it's, this is all part of like a, um, something they want to try, you want to try and be better. That, you're doing it the wrong way if that's the case. Everything should be about joy. But when you've been walking this path for a while, you should be going inwards as well. And if you're not already doing that, then I really encourage you to be going within, not just every now and then, every day every day speaking to your highest self going within getting the wisdom there getting the answers there it's very easy to ask somebody well what do you think of this what's the answer for that and then you get their answer and then that answer will come with whatever it is that they're going through at that moment they might pull that through and they might be a very pure source but they might not also be a very pure source. They might also have a lot of stuff going on. And so they might pull that through with shreds of fear on it that uh, maybe they have still yet to work through. And there's no shame there. And there's no judgment there. It's just that's what it is. And for us to truly be walking in our mastery we have to find the inner truth for ourselves from inside of ourselves through our heart portals we have to connect with our higher self through our hearts and the more we do it the easier it is to hear that voice and the highest self 
the highest, highest self from my experience, or from what I experience, certainly, is that that voice is really loud and clear. It's really loud and clear. You can't mistake it. And you have to practice, because it's all about practice. Everything in life is about practice. You know, you can't get good at anything unless you practice it. You might have all of the tools and you might know how to do something, but unless you're actually practicing, it, all of that's irrelevant. I mean, after all, like, we all know, well, I say all, but I think most of us know how to drive a car. Well, you, you might have the idea, right, okay, well, this is what you do and everything else, and you might have spoken about it for years before you started taking lessons. But when you get in the car, it's a completely different thing to actually what you know. And even if you know all of the rules of the road and everything else, it's a very different. And so that's what I'm saying, is to actually be in the driving seat of your own experience, your own creative expression, and how you're living your life, how you're expressing yourself. You've got to get within. You've got to know the truth of yourself not be repeating other people's wisdom because that wisdom is, is might be wisdom that is shared but find it for yourself you know find it for yourself it's much more fun to find it for yourself do you remember those easter egg hunts you used to have when you were a child how fun was it to go and find those easter eggs looking around the garden, oh, where are they, where are they, where are they? When you find them, so excited because you found an egg. It's not the same, is it? If somebody comes up to you and gives you a basket full of eggs. It's just not the same. When you look at a dog and you hide food for a dog in the garden, is it they'll find it. How excited they are compared to when you just give them a snack. They might like the snack, but it's just not the same. People love. All beings love to feel like that they are involved in the experience and that's part of the journey whilst we're here is to really involve ourselves really to take action to really feel into what we are, what we are being how we are living from where we are existing from i wish you all lots of love and joy and peace and tranquility love and light i love you all thank you very much for watching my name is zaza if you like this video please like it please subscribe please share it if you so wish to do so thank you very much peace and love to you all